Dionysus was the mean king of Thrace. He was a cruel giant who ruled the land ruthlessly. Diomedes was the son of Mars, the god of war, and he was considered a great warrior. He owned four ferocious mares who were so wild that they had to be secured with an iron chain. They were kept in a bronze manger tied to a golden post. These terrible creatures had fire coming out of their nostrils, and they sometimes ate humans too. The evil king would feed the innocent newcomers to the island to his horses. Stealing the mares of Diomedes was the eighth task of Hercules. King Diomedes had a huge army of Bistonian men who were a bunch of nasty barbarians. They always kept guard of the king's mares. Task 8. Mares of Diomedes For accomplishing this task, Hercules took with him his young squire Abderos, whom he cared for very much. They sailed with his volunteer across Egon, and after many days of travel, they finally reached Thrice. Once they reached the island, off they went in the middle of the night to steal the crazed, man-eating mares. They snuck up on the horses, but before he could release them, Bistonian men saw them and attacked. Diomedes woke up hearing the commotion. He was not very happy when he heard that Hercules was trying to steal his favorite mares. Hercules asked Abderos to take care of the mares while he went ahead and fought Diomedes. The king was huge, but Hercules was stronger and smarter. Hercules defeated the king easily and returned to Abderos. But it was too late. When the mares got hungry, they ate his favorite squire. When Hercules saw this, he was very sad and angry. Enraged, Hercules fed Diomedes to his own mares. Once the mares were done munching on their former master, they reverted to being regular calm mares. When the Bistonian soldiers saw what happened to their king, they started running away. Hercules rode the calm mares back to Macedonia and presented them before Eurystheus. Eurystheus ordered the horses be taken to Olympus to be sacrificed to Zeus. But Zeus refused the sacrifice and instead sent lions, wolves, and bears to kill the wild mares. The mares indeed had such notorious reputation. It is said that one of the mares managed to survive and had powerful descendants. Alexander of Macedonia or Alexander the Great is believed to rode one of them. As for Hercules, he greatly grieved over the loss of his friend and later founded a city in honor of Abderos, naming it after him.